Hey guys, Erica with a K here. Today's video is going to be on watercolor. <laughs> so in a previous video, I showed you guys how to maintain a fashion color or a pastel color is what I refer to it as, such as my gray hair or if you guys had light pink hair or light blue hair or any kind of pastel color. And I uh, will link that somewhere up here. I don't, I don't know where it goes, somewhere. I mentioned in that video that, that was one way to maintain your color in between salon appointments. So now I want to show you guys that there is another way to maintain your color in between salon appointments and it is not only easier, but it is just a total, total game changer for us in the industry and also for you guys as clients. So let's get into this video. I don't have every single one, but there are so many different ones. So you have blue, you have purple, there's teal, There's pink. There's silver. And then there's steel. So I'm going to just kind of go through each one and uh, I'm gonna show you guys how I actually use the silver one in my hair. And this actually is done with the steel one. So this is the steel. I feel like in this, it's kind of giving me a purplish tint. I don't know how that's gonna transfer later, but I don't have a purplish tint right now. And it's been about four days since I used it. So, there you go. In this video, I show you guys how I use the silver one. So, just as an overall reference, I feel like the silver one kind of gives you more of like a beigey blonde. A little bit less of a silver and more of like a beigey blonde. So think of like a purple shampoo. The steel one definitely gives you a little bit more of a gray color, but it does have a little bit of like a purple undertone, as does the silver. They both kind of have that purple undertone, but the steel one is a little bit more pigmented with the purple and a little bit more pigmented with the gray. purple for anybody who has a purple fashion color, not to be mistaken with a purple shampoo. This is not a purple shampoo. This will make your hair purple. So if anybody has a purple fashion color in their hair, this is for you. Anybody with a blue fashion color in their hair, blue would be for you. And then of course we have the pink and the teal. So if you have a teal color in your hair or if you have a pink color in your hair, this is just gonna help you maintain that color in between. Just gonna give people a heads up. When you try to push it down, it's very hard. There's a really good seal on it. So once you open it for the first time, it kind of like snaps the plastic and then you'll be able to open it easily in between each time, every other time that you use it. So whatever shampoo you usually use for your hair, whether that's the R Co shampoo, which I recommend, or any other kind of Olaplex or any kind of shampoo conditioner that you like to use for yourself, shampoo like that once, and then go in with the watercolor, whichever one you're using for your hair color. So then just condition as, as normal. If you feel like you wanna do this weekly, do it weekly. If you feel like your color is fading very fast and you wanna do it daily, do it daily. It is totally up to you and your hair. So you're literally like shampooing in the color. So instead of it being like this additional step where you have to put it on your hair and let it sit all day in conditioner and you know feel like a chemist mixing stuff, they do it for you. Like you literally just shampoo it in your hair. Simple. So that is this video, guys. I hope that you guys like this video. Thank you so, so much for your love and support. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Until next time, work hard, dream big, eat cake. Bye, guys.